Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're working on a large four pipe fan coil unit and we're here to replace a few actuators. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. This is a control panel. This is a BMS system, building management. So pretty much this is connected to the software and our HVAC equipment where it can be controlled by the computer. It's just a large air handler, a bit messy. Here are my tools. I did troubleshoot this before and there was no response by these actuators. We have one up there and we have one up there and we need to replace both. But in this video, we're gonna be replacing one of them. The space is super tight and that's what's making this difficult. All right, so this is our hot water actuator we have a valve here that we can close okay then we have another valve we can close here so now we are isolated over here and we can drain just holding back on here so we can open up this nut this cap Two thousand years later. Now we're gonna open this up and drain it. There's a lot of pressure in there. Right, so we still got a little bit of water. Looks like it's this holding back. Gotta pull this back somehow a little. All right, so this valve ain't holding, but we got it to stop a bit. Hopefully that stays. Got this to stop a bit. If it's just a tiny bit, you know, I'll work with it. But as far as here, we got this kind off that's in the way right here. So we have to loosen this up so we can get this valve out. All right, so we got that out. So we could pretty much work from over here. The issue is that we got this little bit of water flow I'm gonna try to mess around with this as much as I can, but I don't like that. All right, I could work with that. I'm okay with that. This is hot water, so don't wanna burn myself either. So the idea is to change this valve. We're gonna keep this male pipe adapter on. What I wanna do is cut in the middle here and cut and take this actuator off. I might even have to cut it if needed cut here take the actuator off spin off this valve then as far as this one we'll either spin it off the problem is we have this in the way in the wall so I was thinking I might actually light the torch unsolder this slide this whole thing out clean that up and just put another male pipe adapter there but with a press fitting I'm gonna try to use press fittings I just got that machine and this is the fittings that I got for this job. So hopefully we can make that work. So let's cut this and take this off. All right, I'm above over here. Look at this actuator. The whole thing is just loose. There's a nut, two nuts that we could take out. We should be able to lift this thing. And we'll see what we can do. If I could even spin that off. Oh boy. Okay. This is coming down. We got this. Oh, that's a long stem over there. I right, got some Allen keys here. What I want to do is take these screws off and unspin this valve so I can reuse that male pipe adapter. Right, let's take that out. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Should be able to spin that up, hopefully. If I cut this, we're supporting on this side, but this doesn't really have support. So I just found some little metal straps and I tied it to this water line, which is supported back there. So the idea would be to try to cut in here. I can't get a pipe cutter in there. can't get the bandsaw in there. Not really much, so I might just have to cut it with the sawzall. Bit of 
water coming out now. It's not good. I'll try to use this as some leverage to get this off right now. It's gonna be extremely difficult. I got it to move. You can see this is the one that's leaking heavy all right here's a new actuator with the valve what i gotta do is actually take this actuator off to spin this on because we don't have the space so what i want to do is just make a quick marking that this goes together here and this goes together here i think the way you take these off is literally just press this back all right and then you, there's a little Allen key in here. I think we could just unloosen the screw and then this actuator actually just pops right off. Right there, beautiful. What I'm thinking right now is, instead of taking this off, might be able to just take this piece off and just rebuild this small space. If I could, I'll do it. Okay. Loosen that up. We could rebuild from there. That would be great. So we should be able to fit like this. Just put the valve on. That's actually a male inch and a half by pipe adapter by Union and there's another male pipe adapter and I should be able to fit a pipe in between if so well, let's just change that because we're really only here for the valve I would like to replace that strainer but I gotta make my life easier too might be able to get that to work so let's go ahead and make a four inch cut and see if we can make something happen Picked up this inner and outer reamer by Rigid. This thing is heavy duty. It's good up to, I think, two inch pipe. So let's ream the inside and out. So we have nice clean fittings. So I'm just gonna sand this down a little bit. So it's all prepped. And they should be able to work. All right, it's gonna be a bit tricky. I'm gonna give it a shot. I might be able to get it to work. It's a no slip coupling would really be the key right here but right now it is what it is there's no space unless i take this off so let's get some teflon on there let's begin by starting this up got this one side prepped put some teflon tape on there let's get this valve on and spin it on and tighten it down Hold back, tighten this down. And we're gonna tighten this. Hold back from here, I'm gonna go up top. All right, holding. Okay, here I have this built up, but nothing pressed. It just fits here, so now we're gonna spin this one on. Try to get that going. Right. Let's keep holding back. Put the gasket in. Let's get the gasket in. Just have that. Have that 
knocked by hand. Gotta knock that union a bit. Cool. Now we gotta adjust this pipe a little bit just to make sure it's in the middle and we get past the gaskets. I did make some markings. So hopefully that helps us right there. Got the markings. We can go this way where we know that's safe. We know that's safe. So literally right there, we should be able to press it. All right, I need to go from the top. That right, looks straight. All right. That one's done. one all right here's the actuator what i'm gonna do is just put it back the exact same way i got it there let's double check yep there we go and i'm just gonna tighten down the screw and it's on there you guys that right there is a beautiful thing and the valve is up there got four wires here but only three are being used there's the old actuator what we're gonna do is just take out the wires that was there it goes to these terminals down here and that's pretty much it we're turning the power off swap out a couple wires just go wire for wire as far as negative and positive this is a dc actuator so yeah we're just gonna finish wiring it up from here then we should insulate the pipe and the next day we got to get to that one which is definitely going to be harder oh boy we're going to wrap up this video from here but that was amazing so glad this worked out it was tricky we got water raining down on us we got tight spaces oh yeah we also need to put this bracket back up it's kind off make sure everything is supported just put back our, our three wires and then we can test but as far as right now we're gonna end this video for here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as to come up with new videos every week don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues i'll catch you all next time yeah.